Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance here, and today we're going to be talking about the Boosted 4849 and 5449. So these little units have been designed specifically uh, with say 1.4 to about a three litre engine in mind. Um, you can use them in a single uh, or alternatively a twin in a smaller V configuration style setup. Uh, they're a very responsive little unit. Um, so we have two versions. There's the 4849, which is rated up to 550 horsepower. And then we have the 5449, which is 660 horsepower. There's a couple of key things about these uh, about these turbos internal designs that give us the access to that sort of horsepower limit in such a small frame. Uh, being that this is the largest T2 frame turbo in our range, uh, it's quite impressive what we're actually able to achieve uh, with this design. So one of the key features uh, is obviously the point milled 7075 billet compressor wheel. Uh, now, point milling is something that's starting to become a term that's in the industry a little bit more and you might hear it uh, from turbo manufacturers. Uh, the key is the aerodynamics to the compressor wheel. So it's uh, a different version of milling, um, whereas traditionally your billet wheels that you'll see in most of, most of the turbos in the market are flank milled, which is the flat surface on the leading edge of the compressor blade. So when you go to point milling, as you can see this dimpling uh, or this additional milling that happens in the uh, it's a five axis CNC machine that uh, that runs these compressor wheels that increases the aerodynamic of the compressor wheel which allows it to move more air more efficiently uh, so lower turbine speeds but more air being moved and compressed so that's where we get the higher horsepower uh, from these also with this size turbo the turbine wheel often becomes a restriction when you're talking high boost high rpm on a, for its size a larger displacement engine so to uh, to accommodate that and to bypass that we've gone to a nine blade turbine wheel uh, on these uh, on these units so that means compared to a 10 blade there's more open space which allows more exhaust gas to escape uh, and you've got a lower back pressure so that allows the turbo to again run more efficiently now there's a few variations within the range of the boosted 48, 49 and 54, 49. Uh, as you can see right here, we have uh, some internally gated options. So they come with the billet wastegate actuator. Uh, they have an internal wastegate. At the back, you can see the rear housing is a little larger and it has the wastegate port uh, in there as the uh, diversion for your exhaust gas and boost control. Uh, we also have the mirror image versions so as you can see in the natural finish in the black you can have regular rotation or reverse rotation so that allows for better packaging so modern modern performance cars or anything that has a large engine for a small engine bay you don't have a lot of space so you can throw these guys in there you can get them into a smaller compact area and still achieve amazing performance um, you know when you're talking the potential of 1000 horsepower plus on the larger frame in a twin application so if you're talking something like a three liter v6 uh, or somewhere similar you'll get extreme response uh, and amazing horsepower and again, with point milling, not only does that increase the amount of performance uh, and efficiency in the turbocharger, but there's a lot of extra work that goes on. So when you're talking about all that extra milling on the leading edge of the compressor blade, um, a flank milled wheel is probably 15 minutes, roughly, in the machine to CNC. Uh, whereas if you're talking point milling, it's anywhere from one to two hours, depending on the size of the, the wheel. Um, now, that often is an upgrade or it's something that uh, people would charge extra for, but that's a standard feature on the boosted performance turbochargers. So um, it's just a value add to our product range that we believe is giving our customers uh, more bang for your buck, uh, which really is the point of these, uh, these frame turbos. Also with the internally wastegated versions, there is uh, the wastegate port is a 32 millimeter diameter. So quite a lot of uh, exhaust diversion uh, away from the turbine wheel. So that allows uh, more boost control or more accurate boost control at higher boost levels and higher RPM levels. If the wastegate port is too small, then you can't bypass enough gas. So when you're talking um, high RPM and a lower boost level, you need to bypass more of that gas, which is why we've gone with that 32 millimeter design. Uh, we also feature a 12 PSI spring in the wastegate actuator. So it gives you a good range to play with um, off your base level boost to whatever you command through your controller or your ECU. 
So, and one of the last key features of, uh, of this range is that the core is a dual ceramic ball bearing core uh, that is oil lubricated and water cooled. Um, the core actually has multiple water ports in there so you can vary the way that it passes through. Again, coming back to that compact packaging in modern engine bays, sometimes it's difficult to run a water line from one side to the other. Um, so with this design you can actually run the water in from in and out from the same side. Uh, obviously you have to make sure that you plumb it up correctly and you know a little bit of common sense is involved there. But, um, but as always we're looking to you know make it more flexible, make it easier for everyone to, uh, to package these things up and get them into you know, new and, uh, and wonderful project that you're building. So um, check all that out. All right, everyone. So now that you know more about the Boosted 5449 and the Boosted 4849, you can check them out at your local distributor, quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com.